Okay, what I have here is a Boss 8 foot straight blade plow. Problems I had with it was uh, every time I, I hit the right blade to return to the right, it would go left. If I pushed up, it went to the left. It, it drove me nuts. It got worse as the day went on. First thing I did was check my ground. My ground was good. I used an alternate ground. I grounded the wires to a, a different location with a jumper wire and the problem still existed. So on further research, I pulled the valve out of the manifold. You just see right up in here a little space where the angle valve went with two coils attached to it. This is a this is a boss plow. But the setups are pretty pretty much the same on on you know Myers or whatever it is. They all have it's typical hydraulic system. So it's they might not be exactly the same but they're, they're darn close. It's just a hydraulic. So we're going to go test a couple of parts. This is the valve. These are the two coils, or some people call them solenoids, relays, whatever. And what I did was hook up, I'm at a friend's shop, so I grabbed the battery. I grabbed one of his uh, power probes here and we hook it up and you see how this thing should work. We put a load on it and you see that valve opening? It opens up one valve and the other valve opens as it releases the pressure coming out of the other cylinder which allows it to roll left and right. We hook up our other side and we go to put a load on it I'm trying to get a good spot and see that it, it moved just a little bit this valve is bad either that valve is bad or this coil is bad what I mean right on this particular brand the plow it's HYD 7029. Uh, I went to the store and I bought that at a, at a dealer, a boss dealer, and that was over 200 bucks. 220 to 250 depending on where you got it. I also picked up a, another coil just in case. That was 40. So close to 300 hours just in parts. That's why you have to charge so much for plowing snow because it, uh, the equipment is not cheap and you must maintain it. We're going to swap this valve out see what happens. Okay, I got the old relays or the old coils on the new valve. Uh, again, I take my, my power probe, I put a load on it, and the lighting is really poor. It's even worse inside the shop. That's why I'm outside. Let me see if I can't get in here. A good angle and See if I can't get this thing. See that? How it opens up? Okay. And now I'm gonna hook it up to the side. I was having problems with the power probe. Put the power probe again. Come over here. She's opening up. Okay, hook my power probe up to the other side and the load on it and now that valve is actually going in the opposite direction as it last time. Um, if you don't have access to one of these power probes you can actually take a 12 volt battery and two wires and tap them. Just tap, 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 tap and what happened last night when we were testing these out 
the, the blade was working fine absolutely working fine but I knew that if I kept playing around with this it would hang up and that's exactly what happened I kept hitting that relay and finally that valve hung up so I knew that this was the valve uh, that was faulty because uh, anybody that plows snow knows you can't have a blade that doesn't want to work I mean I do driveways I got to get my blade right up to the garage door and if I push that button and it swings to the left I'm buying a new garage door so anyway um, that's it I'm gonna put this thing on the plow and see what I got okay there's my valve and the two coils the wires all hooked up and the manifold body let me see if I can get what I have there 70 74 0 7 0 7 7 4 0 4 it's an 0 4 plow I have an 0 5 truck but uh that's the setup now all I gotta do is put my cover on hook up my cylinder and uh give it a testing Okay, here I am. I'm in the truck. I got the blade hooked up. Truck's running. We're going to try it out. The right side is where I had the problems. Now, when it was down and it was to the right, if I pushed up. When I pushed up, it would always bank to the left and then come up. It drove me nuts. And then when I push right, it wouldn't it wouldn't do nothing. It just go ah eh, ah eh, ah. Eh. Sometimes if it was straight and I push to the right, it would go left. That's the troubles I had. First thing you do is check your ground, check your your wire connections on your plug. Uh, that wasn't it, so I started looking into it more. All the way up, down, some more, and. They're calling for snow later on this week. And now I'm ready. So let it snow. So that's it. That's my story on the hydraulic valves and the coils on a, on a boss plow. Yours will be similar, I'm sure. Uh, thanks for watching, and I, I hope this video helped. Take care now.